What do you do when somebody is so unhinged that they post 91 times about you? 91 blue sky posts. 91 times. And what did I do, you may ask? I, I don't even know what I did, except make a satirical post that this person didn't like. Look, I'm not for everyone, but she had blocked me. And then she continued to post about me from 2.25 p.m. onward to now, which is about 11 o'clock p.m. 91 posts about someone. I, mean, I, I, I can't think of any subject, any person, where I would post 91 times about someone. What's more, she apparently is friends with uh, people like uh, Pope Hat and Anil Dash, uh, people who are listened to because they have a lot of followers and they've been around the internet for a goddamn long time. So they are free to say whatever they want. I have never, ever interacted with Pope Hat until today uh, when he called me a hypocritical moron over this, my satirical post, where he took some other post I had made that had no relation to the post that this person, this maniac, took umbrage with. Uh, and then Anil Dash, I just don't like the guy. I just I haven't mentioned him. In 20 years, I think there was one Mastodon post in 20 fucking years. And if he's pissed off about that, enough to say, oh, I wish that guy was dead. Oh, oh, satire. I uh, I don't know why I live in the, the heads of these people rent free. I just, I don't. I literally don't. Now, I would contend that if you are posting 91 times about anyone, anyone, uh, in one day... In an eight-hour period, that is 45,500 characters that you are dispensing about someone. Obviously, that person lives in your head rent-free. And I am deliberately not naming this person because this is exactly what she wants. Attention. 91 posts, though. Like, what are you doing with your life? I'm trying to live a life. I got work done today. I did not break my smoking quit. I'm very proud about that because it was very stressful. Because when someone posts 91 posts about someone, completely deranged, unhinged shit about someone, then other people listen to it, and people who have hated me for years, I have enemies because I'm not everybody's cup of tea, they latch onto that without question. I literally had to call two attorney friends today. Uh, one who always tells me the fucking truth and is no bullshit. I, I pointed out the situation to both of them, and they were very nice to take you know five minutes of their time. I said, I, "What am I in the wrong here? What do I do?" Because when someone posts ninety-one fucking times, Jesus Christ! But they said, "No, Ed, you didn't do anything wrong. This is harassment, cyberbullying." Understand? I'm not flattered by this attention. <laughs> It was deeply unpleasant. Uh, I, she kickstarted a wave of 200 people blocking me on Blue Sky. And I deleted my fucking account, right? Right? But then I start getting messages on every other fucking social media platform I am on. This is not uh, good. What would you do if someone posted about you 91 times? All sorts of libel, all sorts of unfounded claims, all sorts of hate, all sorts of obsession... You know, I tried to uh, report this mania to Blue Sky. They did fuck all. They didn't do anything. Because for people like this, who are allied with influencers, uh, the rules don't apply to them. The rules don't apply to them. I've never met these people. And that is the problem with beefs like this. If you have a voice, you grate for some reason on the minds and souls of total strangers. And I try to be friendly. I usually am pretty friendly. Uh, and part of me is tempted to become more unhinged, more disturbing, more alarming. But I don't want to do that because that's kind of not the place I'm in right now. Uh, the place I'm in is one of greater sensitivity, one of uh, being a little bit more mellow, a little slower. And I have to contend with jackals who have some rumors about me from 10 years ago uh, watching these crazed campaigns and obsessing about me. Uh, you know, this is what it's like to be the main character. And, you know, I made a main character joke in this satirical post. And if I had never said main character, 
I would have had it blocked, and that would have been that, and it never would have escalated like this. On the other hand, it was a funny post. I, you know, for a while there, I was like, was, was this not, was this was this not funny? No, no. Be, uh, I, I was assured by hard cases, tough customers, that it was funny. This was deliberately distorted, and this is the problem we're now having. The reason why we can't have dialogue, and why we can't have nice things, why we can't actually hash things out, is because everyone wants to carry on with infighting. It's oh, it's all. Oh, so easy to infight as opposed to actually have a discussion where you disagree with a couple of points you know uh people want to see blood and they deliberately want to misconstrue your intent when the intent is right there uh, you know uh when it's easily understood they want to distort it and i presume that i am apparently uh, still a threat to these people because why would you even fucking care about uh, some guy who hasn't really been in the newspapers for 10 years who was doing his own fucking thing the only reason you do care is because fundamentally you don't have anything to offer you don't have any form of uh, talent or creative ability so you become a parasite you just live to crush you become that very small hobgoblin critical mind. I practice criticism, so I know exactly what I'm talking about. You are a parasite. You, you actually create nothing. So you live an existence where you do nothing but destroy. And you especially direct your nihilism at anyone who is different. And I'm a little different. I, I will be the first to admit that. And I'm a little difficult. I will be the first to admit that. But, uh, you don't fucking know me. These people do not fucking know me. You only have a fucking snapshot. You were condemning me. 91 posts based off of 500 characters that I offered in written form where you didn't hear my voice. You know, I am making this YouTube so I don't have to fucking dwell upon this anymore. I am making this YouTube because it's disturbing that anyone would obsess over me like this. It, it, it really reminds me of the more unhealthy and insalubrious avenues of fandom. These people apparently live to hate me, and um, I, 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 they live for me to be a main character. And I had joked I had been a main character three times before, and presumably a fourth time with this uh, nonsense, but um, I just got to reconcile myself to the fact that I just gotta be me and fuck the haters and fuck this stupid idiot in Baltimore who is so fucking pathetic that she needs to obsess over me because she has nothing in her fucking sad life and what she's gonna do in her great zest to call me a mediocre white man and I don't fucking care <laughs> I've done a hell of a lot more in my life than she has um Oh, well, she co-created Live Journal. Uh, 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 nope, nope, don't reveal her identity. That's not really much of an achievement. If you are posting 91 posts about someone now, in your middle age years, you got nothing. You have nothing to fucking offer the world. You have nothing but hate and uh, bitterness and resentment. You are trying to use a figure like me to get attention and hey it fucking worked so congratulations i'm happy to have helped you get more followers but at the end of the fucking day uh when i'm gone because you're gonna eventually tire of me you'll try to do this kind of shit with somebody else and then what will you do you know yeah you have nothing you have nothing but destruction and uh that's rather sad i on the other hand have plentiful creation and that's what I'm going to go back to doing tomorrow you know that's what I was doing today and that's ultimately what makes me who I am now that I am a creator you were a destroyer and you see some creative oddball and you feel the need to fucking destroy hey hey great hope you got your fucking kicks maybe see you in court we'll see but honestly I don't want to have anything to fucking do with you. Any of you motherfuckers. Anal Dash, Pope Hat, this stupid broad. Oh, oh, is that sexist? Well, she is a fucking broad. 
and I use the term broad as an adjective, not an epithet for women. All she is, is a shallow-minded, broad person. Someone who will never amount to anything if this is her fucking strategy in life. So hey, make yourself feel better. Watch this long video. I'm making it deliberately long for you because I know you get your rocks off. But uh, I'm only killing time because I've only got uh, 30 minutes left here at work. So yeah, that was that's my M.O. I'm always creating. You're always destroying. And at the end of the day, will you sleep decently at night? I don't think you will. Ha ha ha!